Hello everyone, here I have an Xbox One S and uh, it's been having some issues, games running slow and freezing and if you have no power signal, um, it could be a bad hard drive or HDMI port but what you can do is try to boot it into safe mode and see if you have a display so to boot it in safe mode, hold the connect button and the eject uh, button for the CD drive and also the power button at the same time this will get into standby mode and then see if you're getting an image. Um, if this doesn't work, we will have to open this up. And I think the first thing that I would do is just to remove the hard drive because one of the boot up sequences is, is it detects if there's a hard drive. And if you have a failing hard drive, um, it will just have a black screen. So if you have a black screen, um, I would just open it up by going around the bottom, the black uh, case kind of has little clips around it and then underneath that you have some Torax sc screws that are green and then you just remove all of them and they connect to the bottom plastic bezel they go right through the system so just uh, screw those off and then we can have access to the internal components I'm just using an ice cube tray to keep my screws safe and uh, organized and that seems to work well with uh, my repairs flipping it over the top this kind of plastic kind of peels right off and then you have the access to inside you can see that this one is it is dirty so it's it's a good idea to open up your xbox once in a while just blowing out the bad uh the the dirt as well and on the other side as well because if your xbox is having a hard time playing games and freezing too it could be also that it's overheating so with that uh, cleaned up, we can take off the metal casing and then we can have a look. So this is your hard drive right here and the Xbox is actually using the older technology hard drives. This is your power supply and then this is your uh, uh, fan that goes on top of the CPU. So I'm thinking that the, the culprit is, um, it could either be your, if you're having a black screen, it could be your a problem with the HDMI port or um, it's most definitely probably going to be your hard drive. So I'll be removing the hard drive and then we'll put the hard drive back in and see if it boots back up. So there's a couple screws on the bottom that hold the plastic casing that holds the hard drive. So I can just remove in them and then uh, I will be able to remove the hard drive. At the bottom of the hard drive plastic case there's also a couple four screws that you need to remove and so that you can remove the SATA cable that connects to the hard drive. So with those, when I get those four screws off, there's this actually a little plastic uh, bottom case that I can, with that removed, you can actually pull off the SATA connector. Now, you can upgrade your hard drive there to the SATA connect, uh, hard drive. It's a one terabyte there, but it's uh, more expensive. But this hard drive, has been failing. I did connect it to my computer um, and I tried to reconnect it to see if it's going to boot. And after reconnecting it, did go through prepare the console there, but uh, it opened up the, um, the safe, uh, basically something went wrong. If you go into troubleshooting, I did go into a reset and try to keep everything and, and nothing, nothing was working. I just came back to the same uh, preparing your console. So that means that basically we have to re in, there's a issue with the software. So I have to reinstall the Xbox software by using a USB. You need about like a, a 10 gigabyte. You can go to the Xbox uh, update and then download uh, and install that to a USB drive. Make sure that you format your USB drive as NTFS and then with that on there we can reboot and then update the operating system because this is a software issue it could also be that the hard drive over time does uh, it maybe is failing but this will get it back and up and if you still have issues it's probably recommended to uh, upgrade your hard drive but uh, i was able to get it going again when i reinstalled that uh, and then i you will just sign back into microsoft and um, the hard drive uh, is working uh, again and we can re-sign in with Microsoft and install the, the games. So if your hard drive's being slow, it's pausing or 
you have a black screen, it's most definitely the issue with the hard drive and reinstalling it can fix your issues. I hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.